I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve algebraic equations where fractions are involved. We have a couple of videos like this. In one of the videos we have done application with cross multiplication. Here we will use second strategy and that is uh, get rid of fractions. Get rid of fractions. So that is a very important strategy. Well, it is not a name which is normally used, but this is what I like to use this strategy's name as get rid of fractions. So here we have six examples where we have a lot of numbers in the denominator, which makes these questions slightly difficult. Now, how to solve such questions? This is what we are going to discuss. I will do solution of first three for you, and the other three are for you to practice. Let's go through them one by one. The very first one is x minus 5 divided by 2 equals to x over 4. Now how can I get rid of the fraction part which is 2 and 4? Well, the common multiple is what? So let's find the common multiple. So common multiple is what we are looking for. To be precise, we are looking for the lowest common, right? So I know if I multiply 20, or by 100, I can get rid of fraction. But then we are going to complicate it since it becomes bigger numbers. So we are looking for lowest common multiple of the denominator, right? Lowest common multiple of denominator. So this is what is we are looking for. So for 2 and 4, the lowest common multiple is 4, right? So we can multiply both sides by 4 and then simplify and get rid of fractions. So that is how we are going to do it. So in this particular expression, let me write down here itself. We'll times this by 4 and we'll times the other side also by 4. I'm not using a multiplication sign. I'm just writing a dot. We could place 4 in brackets also. Uh, the reason being at times multiplication and x creates confusion. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 4, the equation is maintained. It is still the same equation. But there is a difference. I can divide 4 by 2. So what do I get? I get 2 times x minus 5 on the left side. Here 4 and 4 cancels and I get x. So I get kind of a linear equation without any fraction. So what I did at this stage was I simplified after multiplying. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times x is x. 4 divided by 2 is 2, right? So we have to multiply both by 2. So don't make a mistake of multiplying only the first term, right? Multiply both as I've written here. Now expand the bracket. So you get 2x minus 10 equals 2x. And now you can bring x's together, like terms, constants on the other side. So we get x is equal to 10 as our solution. So that is how you could actually solve such a question. Correct? Let's follow the same strategy in the next one. Now tell me, what is the lowest common multiple here? Both are prime numbers, so the lowest common multiple will be 2 times 3 is 6. Right, so just multiply by 6 on both sides. Multiply by 6 on both sides. Once you do that, you can then simplify. So divide 6 by 3, you get 2. But you have to multiply both of them by 2. In this case, you get 3. You have to multiply both by 3. So you can rewrite this as 3 times x plus 3 equals to 2 minus x times 2, right? 2 could be written anywhere. Open the brackets, we get 3x plus 9. You have to multiply with both. That is the distributive property, right? 4 minus 2x. Bring the x's together. 3x plus 2x equals to 4 minus 9, which is minus 5. And here we have 5x, right? 3x plus 2x is 5x. So, so we could do 5x equals to minus 5. And at this stage, we can divide both sides by 5. So if I divide both sides by 5, since I'm running out of space, I could write my answer as x equals to minus 1. You get the idea, right? So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 
and minus 5 divided by 5 is minus 1. So we get our solution which is x equals to minus 1. Correct? So that is how you can solve it. Now let's look into the third one. In this particular case, the lowest common multiple is 4 and 2 is 4. So let's multiply everything by 4. First term, 5 also by 4 and this also by 4. So when I simplify, what do I get? In this case, 1 plus x equals to 4 times 5 is 20, right? So let me write 4 times 5 plus 2 times x. This is what we get. Now we can bring the x's together. So we have x minus 2x equals to 4 times 5 is 20 minus 1. And that is minus x is equals to 19. And x will be equals to minus 19. So that becomes the solution for the third equation. Right? Now follow this same strategies and solve these three equations. So here you have to multiply both by 4 then simplify as we did here, correct? In this case, there is only one denominator, 3. So just multiply 3x plus 1 both by 3 and here also by 3, 3 and 3 will cancel, correct? And you get this as minus 2x equals to 3 times 3x plus 1. Solve as we did. In this case, follow the same process. Lowest common multiple here is 6. So multiply each term by 6. Don't forget to multiply x by 6. Solve and then you can check your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.